Hey, Circuit Sauce Devourer. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been seeing one of these tier list videos on the internet. Um, and one of them I saw in particular was a classic rock one. I figured I love classic rock. Let me do my list. So here we go. We have tons of rock bands, rock artists down here. I figured it'd be fun to, um, to do this. So here we go. Uh, and yeah, here we go. Uh, first band, ACDC. I'm going to put them in the beats here. Hard Rock, The Get You Pumped, Bon Scott, Brian Johnson, great vocalists, Angus Young, great guitar player, Malcolm Young, singer, songwriter, extraordinaire, love the band. I'm going to put them in the beat here, though. I love the band, but they're not one of my absolute, absolute favorites, you know what I mean? I'm going to put them in the B tier. Aerosmith, another band, uh, gets you pumped. Many different styles, but man, and I'll tell you right now, Steve Tyler can sing. He's got a great scream, too. Um, Joe Perry, great guitar player. Uh, I um, must say, um, I love their music. Dream On, great song. Uh, Sweet Emotions, great song. One of my favorites. Uh, I don't know if it was one of their hits or not, but it was a movie that I watched. Uh, I forget which movie it was in, but Do Looks Like a Lady. Funny song. Catchy song. And just overall, great catalog. Also going to put them in the B tier. Um, Alice Cooper. I'm going to put him in the C tier. I like him. I don't love him. He's got some pretty good songs. He's a great singer. Everyone knows School's Up for Summer. It's your, gosh, I would say, kind of summer anthem, you know. But um, Alice in Chains, too, also big hit. Um, I don't know. A lot of his songs are kind of eh to me. Don't really say much. The music's also kind of eh. I'll put him in the C tier. Allman Brothers. Here we go. You know, this is S tier, one of my favorite bands of all time. They're just guys up there having fun. That's the live performances. The studio recordings are great too, but they're live recordings. Uh, there's so many. Uh, great jam band, great tunes. You know, just American guys playing great old American music, classic rock. They all can play well. Dwayne Allman, Greg Allman. Um, Dickie Betts, Barry Oakley, they're all great. And I must say, uh, the film more, everyone knows that legendary recording, as there were many others. I believe they played at the Beacon Theater 254 times. That might be a little bit too much, but, you know, um, historic live band, great tunes. Uh, one of my favorite songs of all time, uh, one of their cuts um, off of uh, Eat a Peach, I think. Um, Ain't wasted time no more. So, I have to say, Almond Brothers, great band. And right after that, we have another S tier band, the Beatles, Beatlemania. You know, everything about their, about the Beatles is just so high, you know, in terms of everything that you could want, that you would want in uh, a great band. Um, the Beatles, they have charisma, they have the the rock star and the celebrity, you know, look. They they drove all the girls crazy. Now, I don't care, because, I mean, but it's all about the music to me. But for that aspect, which some people do look at, they got it. But the music, too. Simple pop songs in their early, in their early career that were really catchy. Uh, like, for example, like uh, Hard Day's Night. Uh, please Please Me, Love Me Do. And then they get more experimental in 66 with Revolver. And you got, you know, kind of psychedelic, cryptic songs like Tomorrow Never Knows um, and uh, Strawberry Fields. They really expanded their horizon. Great music. George Martin, one of the greatest producers of all time. Uh, Sergeant Pepper, uh, uh, one of the greatest albums of all time. Everything about them is great. Love the Beatles. Next up, we got Billy Joel. I call him the uh, New York Peppermint Patty. Not York Peppermint Patty. New York Peppermint Patty. 
great songs, great piano player, hilarious songs. A lot of his songs have got the most funny lyrics I've ever heard. Um, you know, and the songs, if you really, if you talk about storytellers, there's your guy right there. But, it, you know, there are many crowd pleasers, piano man, uh, uh, scenes from Italian restaurant, uh, uh, I'm moving out, da 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 my life, big shot, everything, New York State of Mind, you know, overall, very talented musician, songwriter, uh, great guy, um, Black Sabbath, I'm gonna put them in the beat here just for the path that they, they created for metal bands, um, they were really the first band to ever go down that route with the style of music that they had created in the early 70s with songs, you know, their big hits like Paranoid and, um, let's see here, I'm kind of blanking out, uh, I'm not a huge Black Sabbath fan, but just for what they did alone, Ozzy Osbourne, great singer, um, Tony Iommi, actually a guy at our local market that we go to, folks just like him, I always say it's Tony Iommi, um, Paranoid, uh, Let's see, what other some Black Sabbath songs are there? Uh, man, I can't believe I can There's definitely, I don't know if Crazy Train Sabbath. Oh, oh come on, come on. There's got to be, i got to be forgetting something, right? Because um, I know their catalog pretty well. I just can't think of Oh, Iron Man, of course, War Pigs. Yeah, I know those tunes. I just couldn't think of them at the moment. But really like Black Sabbath. I'm going to put them in the B tier. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Uh, there's some pretty good songs. Um, uh, I'm going to put them in the C tier, though, because a lot of their tunes are bland. Um, a little too slow for my liking. Uh, the singer's got a really generic voice. I don't know what his name is, but... um. Or even maybe even put them in the D tier. Not a huge fan, but I mean, you gotta have more cowbell. <laughs> so uh, just for that, we'll put them in the C tier, I guess. Not a huge fan, um, but uh, it's a really great songs. But uh, some others that are aren't that great. Uh, Bob Seger, one of the greatest singers. In rock and roll history, in my opinion, he's got the very rough voice, a prominent rough voice, uh, and that's why we love him. But his, um, he's got great tunes. Uh, really like Night Moves. Um, it's old time rock and roll kind of music that soothes the soul. Uh, Many other great songs of his that I really like. Um, I'm gonna put him in the B tier, especially for his singing. Especially for his singing. Uh, bon Jovi. Yeah, no, I don't even think of them as a rock. I think they're um, overhyped garbage. Living on a prayer is a terrible song. It's the standardized pop blah. People go insane over his voice, and it's not even catchy. You know, I don't love him. I don't, I don't love him. I don't love him. I don't love him. I don't even like him. I'm putting him in that tier. I, Richie Sambora, a great guitar player, though. But as a, in, in the band itself, I'm going to have to put him in the F tier. Sorry, Bon Jovi. Boston. Actually, Sebastian, native of my town. Um, but even apart from that, I would have put them in the A tier. Amazing band. Uh, four play a long time alone. One of the greatest rock songs ever. That organ intro is, you know, gives me goosebumps. Just even thinking about it. I don't know if you can see my legs, but I got goosebumps. I mean, it's you know, you were just thinking about that. Um, uh, Brad Delp. That voice, you know. You know, second you hear it. Uh, peace of mind. Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, and then, uh, you know, many other great tunes. Uh, 
I'm going to put them in the A tier. So, uh, what's the name of that one song I like by them? Uh, let's see here. It's uh, Smoking. Oh, and a man I'll never be. That's a great song, too. Um, so, yeah, boss, I'm going to put them in the A tier. David Bowie, uh, I'll put him in the B tier. Rock and roll icon. Uh, great songs. Um, and again, uh, his songs tell stories. But he's got a very diverse sound with the different personas he portrayed, like when he was, um, when he was the, he, 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 he went through many, when he was Ziggy Stardust, and also, um, on a Gitori album, uh, but then when that came out, he had that character, too. Um, well, it was the white something, but, anyway, uh, Love, Fame, uh, American Girl, uh, yeah, I would have to say, very talented singer, songwriter, I'll put him in the B tier. Creedence Clear, Rival, Clear Water um, Revival. Um, I'm going to put them, hmm, it's kind of hard between A and B. No, I think I'm going to have to put them in B. But, um, I must say, uh, a really well clear and clear water revival. Um, John Fogarty, great singer. Uh, that folk rock sound is so American. And, um, I must say, I really do enjoy their music. Um, Proud Mary, Fortunate Son, uh, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? All their tunes, I think, are great. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put them in the B tier. Chicago. Great band. They're A tier for sure. One of the first bands to introduce horns to the rock music scene. Uh, but even that, Terry Kath. Easily one of the most underrated guitar players of all time. Robert Lamb, uh, well, actually, and Peter Cetera. Both of them I actually really enjoyed. Because usually it's one way or the other. For most, you know, diehard Chicago fans, I enjoy both of them. 25 to 6 to 4, uh, Saturday in the Park, Beginnings, Feeling Stronger Every Day, all really catchy songs. And one of my favorite intros ever is to, um, does anyone really know what time it is? Great selection of songs. Really enjoy them. I have no idea who that is. Ice Cream. You know what? Yeah, we're looking that up because I don't even know. Ice Cream Band. Is that? Is that who they are? I have no idea who they are. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who they are, so I guess I can't rate them. I might be stupid. Oh! No, it's cream. Oh, it's cream. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh. Duh. Okay, so it's cream. I guess I should have ice cream. I forgot. There's, there's just cream. Uh, <laughs> and that was ice cream with Eric Clapton and, I don't know, John Lepton. Anyway, uh, so yeah, cream. Now that I know who they are, I'm going to put them in B tier. Uh, great sound, catchy songs, uh, great badass songs, uh, one of the greatest, uh, openings ever to any cl classic rock song is, um, Sunshine of Your Love, bum, 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 boo, 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 you know, that gets get you pumped in your, mm, mm, mm. And I'm throwing Eric Clapton, too, and Derek and the Dominoes, all of them. Um, you know, I must say. Uh, his work, because it's all really built around him. Uh, not, not the greatest guitar player, but great songs. Sunshine of Your Love, Layla, Tears in Heaven. I'll just make it all about him. Uh, and Cream, too, though. It's not just... It's Cream, too. Uh... 
I enjoy Cream. Def Leopard, uh, I'm not a fan of the 80s. I'll give them a D, though. They're not as bad as Bon Jovi because I like Photograph. Uh, and I like uh, Pour Some Sugar on Me. Those are, I mean, it's better than Living on a Prayer. I mean, that's almost as bad as Journey for crying out loud. You already know where they're going. All right, Dire Straits going to have to put him in the A tier. Mark Knopfler, a great guitar player. Um, one of the greatest guitar players in classic rock. Uh, great songwriting. Intelligent insights. Many bands write songs that uh, have very basic meanings towards them. But I really like um, the messages sent out in songs written by Dire Straits. Uh, I mean, everybody's a great musician in that band, what can I say? Um, so there we go. Uh, I'm going to put them in the A tier. Doobie Brothers. Oh, wow. This is incredible. I'll tell you why once we get there. Doobie Brothers S tier. Another American classic rock band. But they're 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 just on that level to me, which, where I like them so much that... Um, they're S tier because they've got many great songs. I think they were ruined when Michael McDonald uh, morphed them into a yacht rock group. But before that, I mean, China Grove, Jesus is All Right with Me, like on there. To, uh, um, listen to the music. Uh, Black Water. Uh, actually, very underrated song, which I was happy to hear them open with this summer, last summer, 2018. And also the other years I saw. No, actually, only 2018. Natural Thing. That whole album, The Captain, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, great band. I love Tom Johnson's vocals. Uh, Pat Simmons on guitar. Uh, really enjoy them. Uh, uh, another S tier band for me. Got two in a row The Doors. Uh, Jim Morrison, unbelievable lyricist. I would say maybe the greatest of all time. But, you know, it's be, the, the, the dark meanings, but even the musicianship. Ray Manzera, great keyboard player. Uh, Robbie Krieger is one of the most underrated guitar players of all time, too. Uh, and even their usage of studio musicians on tracks like Touch Me, that, that saxophone solo at the end. Uh, uh, can you show me the next Whiskey Bar, the, the, the New Orleans style kind of a band backing them up on that? Really catchy tunes, a whole big catalog of, um, of catchy tunes and, uh, great tunes. And I, I love them. I think they're great. Uh, the whole LA Woman writers on this one, that whole album. Also, um, uh, Morrison Hotel, another great album of theirs that I really like. I must say, great band overall. And now we come to these guys. And this is why I said, oh wow, because I got these three guys back to back. But Steely Dan. Is the greatest rock band of all time. I don't even call them rock because I love jazz too. That's actually my main thing, jazz. But their production value, the musicianship, the sardonic, cynical, sublime lyrics, everything. Donald Fagan and Walter Becker have created the greatest music I would say ever throughout the history of time. The Asia album will always be the greatest album of all time. I don't think it's even humanly possible to create any album better than that. And Black Cow, Asia, Deacon Blues, Peg, Home at Last, I Got the News, and Josie, Are You Seven? I mean, those are the songs alone. Perfect. The the song, the chord progressions. The, and I don't even really care about lyricism, but those songs, some of those songs with the lyrics, you know, incredible. But in just... In, but this in this in the stories like I mentioned before, and I love the dry and, and wry humor within their songs. Um, but yeah, it's because the jazz and the classic rock combination for someone like me who loves those two genres, uh, 
everything about that band is great. Greatest studio musicians too. I'm high, I don't forget you on my phone. Uh, great guitar work all on Royal Scale, Larry Carlton, uh, Skunk Baxter on Pretzel Logic, Countdown to Ecstasy, uh, other great guitar players too, Gaucho, Michael, you mentioned Mark Lapflor, great solo on Time Out of Mind, uh, and uh, even horn solos like Pete Chesley did some real, like Deacon Blues FM, those two solos are outstanding. Uh, I, every Asia greatest song of all time. Steve Gadd on drums. Everything about that song is it's it's unreal. How they were able to do that on one take. The the quality of musicianship on at that level is you know it, it it's tough. It takes um loads of hard work to get a sound that good out of yourself as a musician, but as a whole band, they nailed it on every track they ever did. Greatest rock band of all time. And I've seen them 19 times and counting. There you go. And no one even on this list even comes close. Other bands are S tier, but they should, they're like triple S tier, right? That's not even going to put them at the first because it's, you know, why wouldn't I? The Eagles put them in C. Kind of bland, boring songs. Uh, you know. I like them, though. They got some pretty, like, I really like uh, Train Leaves here this morning. Some of their earlier tunes. But, but like, Desperado puts me to sleep. I think they're kind of, they're, they're an American band, but it seems like as if they tried to be something that they weren't. And they were successful, but it was, uh, that style doesn't really suit up my alley as it does others, because it doesn't seem as if they were having fun with any of the music. It's all kind of um, routine and boring to me. Um, so I, I'll put them in the tier. ELO. I'm going to give them, I'm going to put them in the A tier. Uh, rock, Rockestra. Not a huge fan, but make an exception when it comes to ELO. Um, Jeff Lynn, great vocalist. Mr. Blue Sky, great song. That album in general. Um, do you do you want my love? Uh, turn stone, I uh, turn to stone. And uh, traveling Wilburys too. Might as well mention them. Uh, ELO, they they created a sound which had not been created before. Really like their music. Uh, I'll have to put them. I'd put them in the eighth year. Elton oh, John. I'm sorry. I was going to disagree with me. With are going to disagree with me on this one. I think I might have to put him in C. He didn't write any of his lyrics, and once again, another guy who wrote songs that are very kind of slow. Not, 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 not a lot of uplifting. You know, it's all kind of slow. Ballady type, you know, your song, Tiny Dancer, or Daniel. Not really fun, and I like fun. It's good to have with slow songs, but when your whole catalog is fun, and yeah, I know he's got Bitches Back and Saturdays All Nights Roll Right for Fighting and Crocs Better Rock, but all his other tunes are kind of, you know. I really, actually, one of my favorite tunes, though, I really enjoy, I guess, why they call it the blues, but all this, except for that, all the other slow songs are kind of hard for me to listen to. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put the him in C. Uh, now we got Fleetwood Mac. They're not F, but they're D. They're the most boring of the boring, you know. And you can even hear the activism in their music. It's all about the peace and love. And that was their message. It wasn't even about the music. It's, it's, it's boring. It's, you know, it's nothing. Stevie Nicks isn't even that good of a singer. Uh, puts you to sleep. Uh, I have to say, even the Rumors album, it's not even, I can't say anything about them. They're really too spectacular. They're not, F, they're not bad, but I don't think they're great. I don't think they're good. They're okay. 
Uh, I can't really tell what that says. That's a foreigner. Okay, that says foreigner. Um, well, I, I will put them at you can see. They are, in a, they are another one of those 80s bands that I'm not particularly too fond of that era. But some of their songs are uh, faster paced, and I like that. Uh, and they're not too generic like most 80s bands are. Um, so I'll put them in C tier. Uh, now we got Genesis, I think. Does that say Genesis? Yeah, that's Genesis. I couldn't really read it. Genesis is actually not Phil Collins. Okay, that one I would. I don't know if I want to put undecided because I mean, you know, um, Peter Gabriel era. I would I maybe even say they're S tier, but probably not. I'd still put them in A. Uh, but Genesis Live is the greatest live album of all time, no question, and no one's going to convince me otherwise. Uh, Phil Collins ruined the band. A's pop music blog garbage. That's like DF. But Peter Gabriel, Genesis, some of those tunes are really good. Even some of the early Phil Collins, Genesis, like when they first uh, developed it with Phil Collins, and, um, wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad as it advanced into the 80s. Uh, but, um, Peter Gabriel, that band was sick. Uh, I'm gonna put them in A tier. Grateful Dead. Oh, this is tough. I'm debating whether it's between S and A. I'm gonna put them in S. Well, the fan base, jam band, and they play their hearts out. And it really, truly is about the music. Uh, Jerry Garcia, great songwriter. Um, Bob Weir, a great guitar player. Uh, I have to say, uh, Phil Lesh, great bass player. They're still out there uh, playing their, you know, their hearts out. I really enjoy them. Their S tier. Jimi Hendrix, arguably the greatest guitar player of all time. I disagree, but, you know, that's the beginning of hard rock right there. But even his bluesy stuff was absolutely great. So like all along the Watchtower. But, um, and that was actually kind of, it was, it's really cool because even when the hard rock, you can hear the blues style in his playing, which, which is why I love him. And I'm going to put him in eighth year, even though I don't think he's one of the greatest. Well, no, he's one of the greatest of all time. I don't think he's the greatest. I'm still going to put him in eighth year, though. Um, Jefferson Airplane, uh, they're B worthy. I really like how they expanded the horizon with their psychedelic styles, like a ton, like a ton, a ton, a ton. And that's the sad part because LSD really doesn't enhance the minds of songwriters. Um, in their case, it, for a great extent, yeah, they did um, with the uh, great slick and uh, all of them. So I'll, I'll uh, and Peter, what's his name? Peter something, I forget. Anyway, uh, oh, and here are, so I was a G tier, so I don't even want to talk about them. Um, Led Zeppelin S tier. Greatest hard rock band ever. John Bonham, mastery level behind the kit. John Paul Jones, multi-instrumentalist extraordinaire. Uh, Robert Plant, one of the greatest vocalists of all time, uh, and Jimmy Page, definitely one of the greatest guitar players of all time. Many hits, they get you pumped. I really like the music, but they have saw and, and even a whole lot of, not a whole lot of love, Stairway to Heaven. I must say, I know it's kind of a, you know, yeah, yeah, it's Stairway, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a great song, the way they go in from such a soft, mellow, sort of theme to uh that driving rock it's it's unbelievable really like love that song but i love most of their songs ramble on black dog um whole lot of love i mentioned before cash from immigrant song uh actually i would say my favorite Led up on song is not even one of their major hits but the song remains the same Really, 
that intro, that fast intro. Uh, and then once again, it goes into that soft, mellow. Really enjoy that. Um, uh, Rain song, too. Another great... It shows how versatile their playing really could be. Uh, but the way they execute both of those styles, unbelievable. Great musicians, great songs, great lyrics, too. Another band, great lyrics. I'm going to put them in this. Or they deserve it. Oh, I cannot really. I think that's Santana, though. Oh, I don't even know what that did. I can't. I can't. I can't make that who make out who that is. Uh, can I view? Oh, inspect element. Can I actually look at it? No. Oh. Uh. Hold on. Classic rock bands that start with M. I'll be able to uh, figure it out once I... Oh, come on, you don't need to give me like every single... Alright, so it's before the Moody Blues, so it might be... What could this be? It's not Michael Jack. Oh, is it Metallica? No. He's a classic rock band, so why would it be that? Uh, Meatloaf? No, it's not Meatloaf, because all they would have had, um, what out of the hell? Uh, I, I don't know. I can't tell who that is. It might be stupid, because they're not noticing who that is, but I'm about to run on the side. Money Blues! They're a pretty good band. I'll put them in B tier. Uh, they, they, they got a nice sound. Really mellow, but... The music doesn't put me to sleep because the lyrics are they're diverse, unlike the other mellow garbage bands, where it's not just a message for peace and love, you know. It's such a, a mood which makes me feel chill and happy. Um, so put them in beats here. Uh, Pink Floyd. Another great rock band. Not one of my favorites. I'll put them in B though, just because of their um, their prog rock, you know, innovation. Uh, they really set the bar uh, for that style. But Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, The Wall. Oh my God! Run like hell. Unbelievable off the wall. One of my favorite rock songs ever. I'll put them. I'll put them in B. Oh, 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 Ario Speedwagon, I had a hard time making that out, Ario Speedwagon, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards D, not my favorite type of music, they're alright though, uh, Rush, they are A tier because, they're, the musicianship is there. The musicianship is there. The musicianship is there. Um, Getty Lee, you know, you know it's Getty Lee when you sing it, when he's singing. Some people you just hear him singing, you know, it's a generic voice, but one of the greatest bass players and singers of all time. Neil Peart, unbelievable uh, drummer. Uh, Alex Weisson, unbelievable guitar player. Um, overall, I must say, they had, they got chops, and I really like their style of music, uh, from Canada, from Canada, really love them, so, they're a, not a fan of the rock opera, as I said before, an exceptional one, it's ELO, but they're too, Classical opera style for me, for my liking. I'm gonna have to put them in D. And I know that's gonna probably, if anyone really loves Queen, that's gonna probably upset you. I'm sorry, but they're not up to my level of like, you know, 
Okay, I'm not. I'm not overplayed too. I've had to hear Bohemian Rhapsody one more time. Oh, I'm a Jew. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to put them. in, yeah, I have to put them in D. Simon and Garfunkel also boring music. And it's another example of like over. I mean, the lyrics everyone talks about. Oh, but there's lyrics. It's like to me, a first grader could write. Bridge over troubled water. It's overrated garbage. I'm not a fan. That's way too soft for it to be even considered rock. I don't even know why the hell they're here. You know what? I might even consider putting it at another D. Not that bad because I'm not nearly as bad as Bon Jovi and Jerry. Bruce Springs, wow, D. Three in a row. Overrated. Baby, we were born to write. It's that mother 80s kind of like rock garbage, I have to say. Not a fan. Uh, he doesn't even play guitar most of the time. Their songs are for stupid people. It's not, it doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, I'm going to put them in the D tier. Steve Miller Band, alright, so now out of the D. And we're all the way actually now up to A because, um, you know, he, they're a great band in regards to, um, Drive, but they didn't even need to execute a fast paced, heavy, loud sound to get that drive. You hear what you hear songs like, um, uh, Living in the USA, um, Swing Town, uh, Jet Airliner. They don't, you know, the way they, they're able to get you pumped and moving like that without even having to, um, you know, showcase some form of like, you know, like distorted guitar, you know. Flag and Evil, by the way, great song. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put them in A, I have to say. I really like them. Rolling Stones. I'm definitely a Beatles fan more than I am a Beatles Stone, Rolling Stones fan because that's always the debate. Um, but I must say. They're also they're they're almost as good. Mick Jagger stage presence, you know, is there. Keith Richards, God knows how he's still alive, but you know he that 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 bluesy style guitar playing, you know, really fits well with the rest of the band. Um, Bill Watts, you know, no Bill Wyman, not Bill Watts. Um, Bill Wyman. You know, laid it down the bass lines all, the, all those years. Charlie Watts, you know, he looks so composed back there behind the kit, but he does his job and he does it well anyways, down a foundation for the band. So, you know what? Overall, they're still really good. Love them. Sticks, oh man, you see, this is where, yeah, another D, not a fan of Come Sail Away, end of story. Super Tramp is S tier level. Goodbye, Stranger, unbelievable song, one of my favorite songs of all time, but uh, their sound is, it's unique in general. Uh, no other band really has a sound like that. Um, and there's the, the singing is immaculate in all of those tracks. That whole the Breakfast in America album though has a lot of great songs on it. Uh, I must say, and the and, and the songs are um, I really enjoy them because of the lyrics. Uh, and it, it's not your ordinary rock sound. Very different elements that make them sound like who they really are. So I, I'm going to put them in an S tier. Really enjoy them. Um, I only hear the cars on my markets uh, for some odd reason. Uh, but, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I don't love them. I'm going to put them in D. The one I've heard in the markets, I've never gone on my way to listen to them before I heard when I'm just walking around the market with my dad. Um, and I hear them on the radio and the market's kind of like, oh, so that's what the cars are like. Uh, the police, another band, they're, they're C, they're C, I would say. 
Um, they got some really catchy songs, but uh, the articulation of thing bothers me. It's uh, you know, that's what he sounds like legitimately. Uh, some of the songs are just flat out stupid. Some of the songs are, you know, it's really weird because I think it's either what a pull the elements of a of a uh, police song. It's either you know really catchy '80s style or really stupid 80s style. I liked it, what that decade was, the 80s. Stupid. Uh, but, um, that's my opinion on the police. The Who. They're a B-tier band. I love The Who because, I mean, Roger Daltrey, they're loud and I like loud. I don't like Quiet. I really enjoy loud music more than I enjoy quiet music. But Pete Townsend, known for that quintessential wheel around the uh, Keith Moon tragic that he died so down just like John Bonham. I think I think John Bonham's a better drummer, but still Keith Moon, unbelievable. John Entwistle, one of the greatest bass players of all time. But they got many great hits. Um, and I and I yet to see them live to come to film by in September. I would really like to go to that so we'll see what happens. Um Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Not bad. I don't love him. I'm gonna put them in C. Uh he's got two of a his voice is too flat for me. Not and not like as in terms of like flat like in music theory how he might be flat like the one said, huh like a C no you like ah. Like, not like that, but this kind of static voice. Nothing really special about it. Um, too much of a twangy country sound. Um, so, yeah, not, not really a huge fan. U2F. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about the F bands because it's just, I don't know, Edge just... Sits there, does a stupid little riff. Bono, overrated singer. Uh, I don't like the activist music, and, and they're kind of all about that. Um, and they also look like morons when they're up on stage. Uh, so they're F. Van Halen is, I'm going to put uh, in the B tier. Actually, no, I'm going to have to put them in A tier. Um... And it's because Eddie Van Halen is truly, I would say, when it comes to rock guitar playing, he is the greatest of all time. His, he, he when I, I know they didn't really begin the whole metal movement, but the, the tapping, that way of playing was all because of them. But David Lee Roth, psycho behind the mic, but that's what makes him so special, you know. I, I have to say, it's Sammy Hagar, Alex Van Halen, just as a band, they're really, really good, and I enjoy listening to them. That style of guitar playing that Eddie's known for, the, the hammer on, as you, you hear so, you know, evidently um, in an eruption. But even other tunes like Rhyme with the Devil and Talking About Love, um, To Hot for Teacher. I must they're incredible. Um, so I'll put them in the A tier. I really enjoy Van Halen. Uh, yes! Is S! Yes is S! S, yes! Um, another band. Musicianship is there, just like Steely Dan. Just like, uh,. What other band? Rush. Yes, Rush and Steely Dan are your best musicianship bands. In fact, I, 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 I might even, I should have maybe even put Rush and Aston and Thin Style of a Tree now thinking about it. I'm Chicago too, but it's completely different in their case. Uh, but there is, they're similar to Steely Dan, but not really because they're rock with horns and Steely Dan is jazz and rock with horns. Um, but, um, yes, uh, the classic rock sound is you know, really, it really beams to the highest quality extent with, yes, uh, Alex Kingston, uh, you know, the whole band, unbelievable, um, really catchy tunes, um, 
The to be continued song is written by them, I don't know if you didn't know, roundabout. So I'm going to put them in A tier. And to finish off this list, I'm going to put ZZ Top. Uh, those bearded fellows that we've come to know so well, and the only non bearded member in the band, his, his name is Beard, so that's, that's just, I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Um, but ZZ Top. American sound, but nothing's really too special. A lot of it, most of their songs kind of sound the same, and the vocals really are not. They don't. They, they don't. They didn't really experiment much with their songwriting, but it's still very good. And they were good at what they did write. Um, so I'm gonna close this list off with putting them in the B tier. This was my uh, classic rock. Year list video. I didn't really. I don't do research on these, so if I babble on it, sometimes it sounds like I'm being redundant. I'm sorry, but these are my initial takes. I don't know a lot of these bands very well. I know most of them well, but some of them I don't even know. I didn't even know who these guys were. But this is my list. I hope you enjoyed it. It's making so much of our. I'll talk to you guys later. Putting this on YouTube, hopefully, because if I don't, it's a waste of 46 minutes. So anyway. Tickets are awesome.